All right, guys, in this video, we're going to go through the Facebook chatbot series. And uh, this particular video, we're going to uh, kick it off by creating the client avatar in Smart Engage. So when I say avatar, just understand that that means uh, essentially the business persona. All right, this will become a little bit more clear as we get going. So this is going to be the software that we sign up to in order to create the chatbot. It's going to allow us to um, create the uh, the website customer support chat kind of bubble that can go on there and uh, allows us to create a lot of cool automations for the client once we get into doing retargeting for them in later uh, aspects of the client you know it's great to run them into messenger and uh, smart engage will also allow you to uh, do their email marketing among some other things as well so uh, let me pop on over to click up and we'll just kind of take it step by step all right, so I've got this link right here where you, which you can use to sign up to Smart Engage. And uh, look in the resources file as well because uh, just in case this changes at all, but right now we are currently doing a uh, three free months of the agency plan, which means you can add unlimited businesses to this plan and it's three free months uh, of, of access. So uh, look in the resources uh, document and uh, you can figure out uh, how to get that uh, turned on for your account. So you can use this link here, and uh, when you pull that up, you'll uh, be presented with a sign up. If you want to go to the actual homepage and just read about, you know, what it's all about, just go to smartengage.com, and you can read read all about it here. And uh, you see everything that it does: emails, Facebook chatbots, web push notifications, customer tracking, and uh, actually, we uh, recently put in. Uh, SMS text messaging, which we're about to go live with as well. All right, so once you sign up, um, so let me just log in. Once you log in, you'll be presented with a dashboard similar to this. And all you do is click on your existing avatar. Let's say you've already created one for your agency. Um, if, you, if you're doing this the very first time for your client, then you'll have to uh, create that avatar as as part of the sign up process. But in this case, I've already been a member for some time and I recommend starting off by adding yourself, your own agency as the first avatar that you create. So um, when you're ready to add that second avatar, that next client, you just click on the existing one here with this drop down and then you scroll down to the bottom. I have a lot of avatars, but you'll see this right away add new avatar. So you want to click on that. And this is where we're going to start entering in that customer information. So we've got color, bright painting of Long Island. And it automatically is going to generate the subdomain here. Uh, this is used for web push notifications. You don't really need to worry about it. It's uh, created automatically like this for you. So just leave it as is. You just want to make sure you get the name uh, correct here. All right, so let's go ahead and click next. And then you wanna use the email. This is the sending email address of the, uh, the client. Now, you can just put in essentially a placeholder here um, if you're not gonna handle their email marketing right off the bat. In fact, I recommend not handling that right off the bat just because you, know, you wanna start with SEO and the chatbot and then work up to this. This is a great upsell later on where you can offer to handle their email marketing for them. So for the name, we're going to have color, bright painting of Long Island again. And this is what uh, the name is when people see the emails and the from email, let me go over to the website and see. You can either use the, the business email. I mean, you definitely have to use the business email. It can't be like a Gmail or something like that. But under contact us, I wanna see if they already have an email address which we might use. So yeah, info at colorbrightpainting.com. So I'm just gonna put that in there. And again, it's not gonna impact anything on their end. It's just uh, prepping for when we eventually handle email marketing for them. And then I just click on the use same as from and it populates here. This is, in some cases, if you want the reply to address to be different, I recommend not doing that. It's better for the email algorithm that replies go to wherever it's sent from. So let's just, use this as uh, as I did it, then click next. And then for the address, we wanna use the actual business address. 
And I remember here that they didn't have their full address listed. Um, so that's where coming back over to our info doc is helpful. So again, remember how to get there. If you want to quickly pull it up, we can go hashtag, hashtag, pull up the sales order, client payments, color bright painting, then click on it. And oh, that was not the one I wanted actually. So let me close this. Uh, color bright, let me delete that. Actually, I wanted to, not the payments. So hashtag, hashtag. So we've got sales orders. So I went to client payments back. So I want to go to client onboarding form submitted and then go to color bright painting. Now, when I click on this, we should see the info sheet and yep, there it is. So let's find the address. All right, so we've got seven Fieldstone Court. I'm just gonna copy the whole thing here. Come on over, paste it, and then just gonna start cutting out where things go. So zip code here. All right, we've got Green Lawn. And then we have New York and United States. All right, all that information looks good. I'm gonna put a period at the end of that. And I'll click next. Now this is where you need access to the uh, the host to enter these records. SPF and DKIM records are essentially uh, uh, email methods to ensure a higher deliverability rate, a higher inboxing rate. At this stage though, we can just skip this. We can go back later and add this easily. So I'm just gonna click next. This is the part we don't wanna skip and we can't skip actually, we wanna click connect and in order to do this step before i click this i'm just going to go back over here to our task and the very first thing here is to make sure that you have facebook page admin access if you don't you want to give them this link inside so i let me just click this item here so i have this link here that you can give directly to your client and that's going to make it easy for them to help uh, to assist them with adding you as an admin to their facebook page right and uh, just break it down with some pictures here as to what you have to see on your end because they're going to add you and then you have to accept. So you'll get a notification and here's one I got for Color Bright Painting already. Uh, so I was invited to become an admin of Color Bright Painting, okay? And then I clicked accept and then after that it said I accepted the invitation, okay? Uh, so that's how that process goes. So you really need to do that first before you can get to this point with Smart Engage because you need that access already. I already do, so I'll click Connect. And you'll see all the Facebook pages that you run show up here. Uh, I have quite a bit, so it's just gonna take a little bit to load up. And uh, if you have a lot like I do, it's best to just do a Control F, Command F to search on the page for the brand. So there's Color Bright Painting, I'll click Connect. It says connected and let's close that out and I'll click next and it's asking me if that's the correct avatar I want to use I'll use that one yes and then we have this tracking code so I want to copy this to the clipboard copy that and then click complete and now let that load up it's going to refresh the page with the new avatar while that's happening I'm going to go into the back end of the website and I'm going to find the insert headers and footers. Scroll down to the bottom, go to a new line, and I'm gonna paste that in, that code. All right, so now we have, let me just expand this. So now we have this smart engage code right here inside of the header at the end of uh, all of our other scripts. So I'm just going to save that. Okay, and let's go back over to Smart Engage and you can see it's loaded up, it's refreshed. And now we are on the color bright painting of Long Island avatar. Obviously we have no subscribers, nothing like that, but uh, the avatar is now successfully created. When, it t when the time does come to add the DKIM and SPF records and we need to find those again, you just click on manage and integrate like I just did. 
and you scroll down here and you're going to see these records right here. So this is the SPF record right here. And this is the DKI, excuse me, DKIM record right here. All right, but for now, don't worry, don't worry about it, but just know that's where they are. All right, so let's go back to the dashboard and let me pull up, click up just so we're tracking. All right, so we ensure that we have Facebook admin access. Yes, we created the avatar using uh, the custom uh, business, inf the customer's business information, yes. Uh, we are not doing this right now, but we can at least just make a note of it. So that's this is if we're doing email marketing right off the bat. Um, as you get a few clients under your belt, you may go right into email marketing uh, with new clients. So I'll leave that up to you how you like to do it. We typically uh, will not offer it until after a few months of just doing SEO and PPC and that sort of thing and just earning our business that way and then upselling them into an email marketing plan. So that's something to keep as kind of, uh, you know, in, in your hip pocket there to offer later on. All right, so we'll go ahead and mark that closed. And then lastly, you want to add the tracking code into the client site header, which we just did. Um, we can clear the, the cache as well. Um, if we had a cache plugin, okay, we do cache plugin here. So I'm just going to purge all of that. And essentially that just refreshes everything so that when uh, a visitor comes to the website on the front end, they're getting a new version, the newest version of the website. Nothing is stored and saved. All right, so let's go back here and let's mark that off as well. So we finished all the tasks here for creating the Smart Engage avatar. Um, in the next video, I'm going to show you, let me see, uh, I'm going to show us creating the chatbot and adding it to the website. So if we go to, just to show you an example very quickly, if we go to the main website, in the lower right hand corner here, it's going to pop up and we'll see that we have this little chat bubble. That's what we're gonna create for the client. And it just creates a nice user experience where you can create this for them and uh, this bot can ask the, uh, the customer directly for various information such as their email, phone number, and it's very easy to do that. And then we store that as a subscriber inside of Smart Engage. So uh, it's just one of those great features that you can offer your client uh, that very that separates you as an agency and something new, exciting, and uh, keeps them very sticky. Where uh, you've stacked more value now, and they you're, you've become more indispensable, and you're not just some SEO guy. You're running mul multiple marketing channels for them. All right, so uh, that is it for this one. In the next one, we'll get into building this chatbot out and then adding it to that client's website. All right, I'll see you then.